So um, hi everyone, I'm Poppy. So I'm a communications manager within a little part of um, STFC, which I'll explain a little bit later, but I'm going to talk to you about um, our project today, which is called the UKRI Net Zero Digital Research Infrastructure Scoping Project. So it's a little bit of a mouthful. So um, some of you might be wondering what digital research infrastructure is. So I'm going to explain what that is. I'm going to talk about our ambition as a project and what we're trying to do. I'll explain a little bit about who we are, how we fit in um, and the progress we've made so far. And then I'll go over some of our next steps and some areas that I think you can help us with. OK, so what is digital research infrastructure? So um, it's acronymed to DRI, so I apologise in advance if I slip into the acronym. I'm going to try and keep saying out in full, but it's a, a bit of a mouthful. So basically, it's to do with um, any computing infrastructure which is used for research. So this definition on the screen comes from the UKRI website. Um, and it, it, it ranges from anything from supercomputers um, to data storage to facilities and archives to software that researchers are using to do their science um, and also the people, who, the users of these systems who are actually doing the research themselves, but um, maybe also importantly, the experts who are uh, running and maintaining these um, important services. So um, I think the key thing to remember about this is that it's, yes, it's all about computing, but it's for computing to do with research. And it's it's not just the hardware and the facilities that we're looking at. We're looking at the whole picture um, of the system. OK, so our project um, has a very vast scope. So we are looking across all of UKRI. So we're looking at all of the digital research infrastructure, which is owned or majority funded. So this can be any infrastructure that's based at UKRI sites like at um, Harwell, where we're based, or um, it also includes any infrastructure that's at universities or other institutes as well, which UKRI funds. Um, so also included in the scope is the impact of procurement on these um, systems and the research outputs from the DRI. So our project is a scoping project um, we're collecting evidence which will enable us to provide um, scientific backed recommendations for our roadmap to, roadmap so that we can ensure that we actually achieve net zero by 2040 or sooner. Um, so the third product point on this screen is quite an important one. So yes, we're talking about computing and yes, that's seen as a technical thing. But as Oslin said at the beginning of this talk, to get to net zero, we're going to have to have profound change across everything that we do. So it's not just the technical aspects that we're tackling. We're looking at ways that we can um, uh, change behaviours across all of UKRI and what can we do to make sure that we can reach this goal of net zero. So um, yeah, I was pleased to hear uh, mentions of behaviour change because that's definitely in scope for our project. So it, it's fast and it's big. So this slide is just um, to, to reiterate what I've just said, really. So the ambition of the project is to collect evidence to inform future investments decisions for specifically for digital research infrastructure. Um, and then this will allow um, UKRI and its community to have an outline roadmap, which will actually help us to achieve getting to net zero. And then finally, we want to enable UKRI to play a positive and leading role in both the national and global transition to a sustainable economy. So we, we want to be sharing the knowledge that we get from this with others who may want to do the same thing. OK, so who are we? So um, you might be able to see from my name that I'm based within STFC. So I work for a team which is the Centre for Environmental Data Analysis. And although we sit within STFC, um, we do most of our work on behalf of NERC. So we've got an environmental remit and a computing remit, which is, I think, why we, we've got the task of this project. Um, so the, the work is being um, undertaken via our partnership with the National Centre for Atmospheric Science, which is one of NERC's research centres. 
So um, a little bit about the governance of the project. So we've got a science advisory board and a steering committee with lots of um, experts on it who are helping us uh, work out the best ways to get uh, the most efficient and effective evidence that we need to, to, to make the roadmap. And then finally, we've got lots of um, project partners from different universities and different UKRI councils that are undertaking some of the work on our behalf. So all of the faces on the right hand side of the screen are our core team. There's too many people in the wider team for me to add everyone's pictures on, but this is the core team that um, is coordinating the project. OK, so I just mentioned project partners. I just wanted to give you a bit of a, uh, an idea of who we're working with. So it's a bit of a logo soup, I'm afraid. But um, yeah, we've got about 18 project partners and counting at the moment from various universities in different parts of UKRI. And um, we've recently published a blog post on our website. So that link is there. So if you want to know more about the details about what work the partners are doing, then you can find that there. I'm not going to go into the detail of it specifically what we're doing today because I don't have time. Um, but yeah, go find out more at that website. So how are we collecting this evidence? As a really, a really broad overview of what we're doing is um, these different parts of my mind map. So um, these different activities will collect evidence to make sure that we can provide recommendations for the roadmap so that we can achieve net zero. So some of them are quite detailed and collecting um, scientific evidence. So from the literature survey, for example, and in-depth case studies of um, some key uh, infrastructures like supercomputers. But an also really important aspect of the project is uh, about stakeholder, stakeholder engagement and gathering feedback and making sure we're building a community who's buying into the to the changes that we're going to have to make in the future. So there's lots of different areas of the project, which is why there's a big team and lots of partners helping us to achieve that. So um, a timeline for our outputs. Um, is this it's quite a short project so we're currently in kind of the the pale gray phase where we're collecting the evidence by different mechanisms so that the top rows show what we, the kind of the literature survey that we're putting together which will form um the evidence review as part of an interim report which is due at the end of this month and then other evidence is being um, undertaken by our project partners and they will have some preliminary results for us um, by the end of this year. So we hope to be able to share some initial findings from that early next year. And then all of these different bits of evidence that we're collecting will feed into the final report, which will have the final recommendations that, that we suggest for the roadmap. OK, so what next that specifically maybe you could get involved with? So um, I've already mentioned we're doing an evidence review, so the interim report will be public soon and will be open for comment and feedback. Um, we are launching six sub projects. Some of them have already started, which is great. And they are doing kind of proof of concept studies to work out new ideas for how to do things. So they're looking at technical details, but some of them are also running community workshops where they want the community to come and engage with them. Um, another one on this list is in-depth case studies. So um, we're going to take a really kind of deep dive into some of the key supercomputers that UKRI owns and working out which ways are the best ways to collect metrics. How do we compare between the different systems? Um, and then a really important part of the work is working out what the uh, current <laughs> current mapping of the digital research infrastructure looks like. So we don't have a clear idea of what the, the carbon footprint is of the DRI estate is currently. So that's part of this scoping project to work out how we collect that evidence and then start collecting it. Um, so the first one on this list is a user survey. So we're going to we're going to be asking for um, opinions, feedback, comments, um, and this is being run in partnership with a social scientist. So it's going to have um, some implicit attitudes tests in it, which I think basically will help us get, get a better understanding of what people are actually thinking and feeling rather than just what they're saying they're feeling. Um, and that is due for release in the autumn. Um, we really recently found out that we can do two sessions at a conference in December run by STFC, which is called the Computing Insights 
UK conference. So we're going to be presenting some of the initial findings and, and doing a workshop there. So that's really exciting. Um, and another way that we're doing that is throughout the project, we've been running um, kind of webinars and different events and inviting different people to come along and talk to us about the project. So we've got a few more planned with key audiences. Um, so we really want to talk to people like early careers because net zero is going to impact them the most as they get older. So we want we want to know what they think and engage with them at this early stage of the project. So if there's anything on that list that you think oh that sounds interesting, have a look at our website or subscribe to our mailing list. Um, I'll share all the links later with you. So there's, there's some other ways that we could do with some help from you wonderful people on the call. So um, we've got some gaps. So we do have um, action plan to mitigate these gaps already. But I just wanted to share this slide in case anyone knew of any work being done or thought they could put us in contact with a researcher that you think um, could help us. So we've got thematic gaps on the right hand side in the table. And we've also got a couple of gaps in the Medical Research Council and the Arts and Humanities Council kind of areas. So, again, if you're from those areas and you know of work that might overlap or we might be able to learn from, then please do let us know. And then last on this list is diversity gaps. So the events that we've run so far, we, we have noticed that there's there's yeah, gaps in the diversity, which we, we know happens in kind of science and technology. Um, but we want to take some positive action to make sure that we're addressing these issues and making sure that um, we are asking all members of the community what, what their thoughts and feelings and opinions are and making sure that we're not negatively impacting upon um, certain groups. OK, so how does this tie into our strategy? So Duncan was touching upon this earlier, but this project will help us to understand the carbon impact of all of UKRI's digital research infrastructure. So we need to understand it to be able to do something about it. Um, once we've understood it, we can we can inform and do some long term planning and make sure that we're adopting common standards to make sure that we actually achieve getting to net zero by 2040. And then finally, we're going to be doing new things because we need to, to make all these profound changes in the system. So it's going to encourage innovation. So I've, I've been plugging our website all along and our mailing list. So um, if you want to know more, I, this is like a very whistle stop tour of the project. So please, please do get in touch. Please subscribe. Please look at our website. And yeah, we're, we're, we look forward to working with more of you soon. Thank you.